The Farrington High School community is mourning the death of the 17-year-old boy who was killed by a boat's propeller. The tragic accident happened yesterday in Mauna Lua Bay in Hawaii Kai. Just two days before, Keahi Hokulam danced for his senior class at Farrington High School's homecoming pep rally. That's him, second from the right. Claire Magalanis was his dance partner. I'm glad that my last memory with him was happy. Lum helped choreograph the dance, which won first place. He was also a football player, a dirt biker, and he worked on the student council. But his passion was diving. Oh, he loved diving. He actually cooked fish that one morning that we went, and I ate, I ate it. <laughs> so, that he caught. Yeah, that he caught. Lum was diving with his friends Sunday when a fishing boat ran him over in Mauna Lua Bay. The medical examiner's office says the boat's propeller severely injured Lum's chest and abdomen. The boat's operator stopped to help Lum and brought him to shore, but he later died. At sunset, Lum's friends threw roses and lay into Mauna Lua Bay and remembered their lost buddy. He was very kind, like... He would always, he would be helping out to everybody. He was funny, like, he was the kind of guy, you can, he make you smile. But they're struggling to come to grips with the loss of a friend they've known for years. I couldn't believe it. I was really, like, shocked to hear that it was him because it was just out of nowhere. It's heartbreaking, you know, like, we didn't, it so happened so fast. Just came out of nowhere, like, everything was going good, then bam. I hope you stay in a better place, God, take him in. God took him to a better place. Lum's friends are planning a memorial service at Farrington High School for some time next week. Now Lum's death follows the State Land Department's summer pilot project to improve diving and boating safety in Hawaiian waters. The department gave away red dive flags during the summer months and worked to educate both divers and boaters. The Land Department had no comment on this most recent fatality.